Good morning and welcome to today's Jaguars Athletics Podcast, provided to you by Madison Central High School's Big Blue Blooster Club in conjunction with the Madison Central Academy of Multimedia and Communication Sports Marketing class. I'm your host, Terrace Harris. Before we get started, we would like to thank our Big Blue corporate sponsors that make this podcast possible. Madison the City, Gray Daniels Auto Family, Trustmark Bank, Merit Health, Professional Eye Care Associates, Madison Healthplex, Bank Plus, Raising Canes, Mississippi Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center, Kincaid's Fire Clothing, Wendy's, Lost Pizza Company, State Farm Insurance Agent Rodney Stokes, and Wingstop. Our guest for today's show is Madison Central Athletic Director and Head Football Coach Toby Collins. Welcome to the show, Coach. Thank you. All right, so to get this started, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your path that led you here to Madison Central? Well, i am uh, got three kids, Bailey, Neely Claire, and John Asher. I've uh, been married to my wife, Kathy, for 21 years now. Uh, we've lived in several different places. We started out at Wayne County, down in Waynesboro, Mississippi. And we left there and went to Amory. Left Amory, went to Louisville. Left Louisville, went back to Wayne County. Uh, then I took my first head coaching job at Etiwamba High School in 2011 and uh, stayed there four years, then went to Northwest Rankin for six. And now I'm here at Madison and wearing the blue and orange and represent the Jags. It's tough. All right, so on the topic of coaching, you know, there's a lot of football jobs that you can't get into. So what made you want to become a head football coach? Well, I decided I wanted to coach football when I was uh, probably in eighth grade. Uh, and truth be known, it was, uh, the the amount of uh, influence that my high school coach had on me and all of my friends growing up, uh, I probably realized at an early age that I wasn't going to make any money playing football, so I decided I would coach it. Uh, so decided early on that that's what I wanted to be, just like any coach. I thought early on I wanted to be an SEC coach or a college coach and make all the money, but uh, once I got into high school coaching, I realized that I had probably a bigger impact on kids and their lives than, than any college coach could. Sir. So what do you think is your biggest strength and asset as a head coach? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I guess probably the biggest strength is, is genuinely caring about the, the players and uh, wanting to get to know them. Um, you know, I would say that probably I'm weaker on the X's and O's and probably better on building relationships with, yes, with kids than I am anything else. Uh, that's kind of the passion. Who do, do you have any mentors that have inspired you to become the caliber of coach that you have become today? Uh, my father is probably my biggest mentor. Um, you know, and he, he, he's never coached a day and he's coached Little League Baseball. I think <laughs> it's the only thing he's ever coached. But uh, he, grew, he um, ran a phone company growing up. And uh, I guess just the way he raised me and my brother to respect others and, um, you know, hard work and all that kind of stuff. And then probably, you know, in the coaching profession, Marcus Bowles is probably my biggest mentor, Bobby Hall, people like that that I've worked for in the past. Yes, sir. What things do you do to keep your team motivated? You know, especially in Mississippi, that 100 million degree weather. What do you do to keep them stayed focused and on the main goal, which is win a football game? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is, is first and foremost, you don't take yourself too serious. Uh, you know, you try to have fun and yes, keep it light with the kids because, like you said, it's there's a million other things they could be doing besides practicing, in, you know, 95 degree weather and heat index of 115. But um, you know, we try to keep it light. We try to have fun with them. Uh, we, you know, like I said, try to keep it interesting. Try to keep it brief if as, as, if, if you can, and uh, you know, just stress the little things every single day. You know, trying to get better on the fundamentals. Yes, sir. So what are some things that make this Madison Central team unique? Well, I've said it several times in the past. I think your better teams are the teams that like each other. <laughs> you know, they like being around each other. They like being around the coaches. Mm -hmm. And this team is no different. I think they, they have a good time with each other. I think our coaches do a really good job of building relationships with them. And um, it's a unique bunch from the standpoint of we've got a ton of talented players, but they don't act like they're talented. You know, they don't they don't strut around and have their chest poked out and um, have that holier than thou attitude. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on our first ever Jaguar Athletics podcast. And good luck to you and the Jags for the remainder thank of you. your season. Yes, sir. Thank you.